I would like to compare two parameterizations for the same curve and see how they behave as far as when the uh, value of the parameter changes. And first curve is going to be small r. The parameterization is going to be uh, t, t squared minus 4 for the uh, x, a y component and t cubed minus 8 over, t cubed over 4 minus 8 for the z component. I want to compare that to the vector capital R of t, which has the parameterization of t squared t to the fourth minus four and t to the sixth over eight. I'm sorry, t to the sixth over four minus eight. So I'm going to require that t equals zero uh, at all times and actually look at what happens when t equals zero. So when t equals zero for each of these two curves, uh, for the first one, small r of zero is going to be the uh, vector. Um, 0, uh, 0 minus 4 minus 8. And when t is 0 for the capital vector, that I am going to end up at the same point, right? So that these two vectors have the same starting point, okay? So that we're going to look at what happens as they go through space and uh, the vector, I'm sorry, the parameter t uh, increases. So for example, for this uh, smaller vector, I'm sorry, not the smaller vector, the small r vector, is that when uh, t equals 4, that's when this vector is at 4, 12, 8. However, for the capital vector, is that when t equals 2, I'm at that point. Okay, So that these two vectors may go through the same points, but one is happening at a different rate than the other. Okay, So whenever I hear the word rate, I think about velocity, and that what I want to do is compute the velocities for each of the two components. So that if I take uh, r prime of t, that's going to be the vector with a constant x component, 2t, and 3t squared over 4. Uh, when I do that for the capital component, I find out that that rate of change is 2t, uh, 4t cubed, and 3 halves t to the fifth. Okay. So then I can look at then at what happens at t equals 4, for example, how fast is each of these two components meeting? And so that uh, I end up with how the, the magnitude, the scalar value of the velocity for the small component is the magnitude of the vector 1, 8, 12. And I uh, find out that that is 14.5. And that is the speed of the small component at that point in space, 4, 12, 8, right? Remember, we found out that that's when at t equals 4 is when that small vector is at that point. If I look at the capital vector and look how fast it's going at the same point in space, is that I would end up having, uh, I'd have to go at two uh, values. So let me put a two in here and that that value is going to be the magnitude of the vector 4, 32, and 48, just putting the value 2 into my vector expression, and that's 57.8 uh, speed of this capital R at that same point, at 4, 12, 8. Okay? So we can start to compare and look at what happens at different vectors, different parameterizations. We decided that these are starting at the same point. They reach many of the same points in space, but they get there at different speeds. Okay? So that's what's going to become important, is being able to compute the speeds of different vectors and determining where they are in space.